if you're watching from youtube hello how are you doing if you're watching on instagram so i wanted to share a word a message that came about as a result of some personal situation so i had this purity ring that i would wear almost everywhere okay and i got it almost five years ago i got it in june 2019 and for me it's just been a symbol and also a reminder an important symbol of this journey that i've been on of being set apart for god and being consecrated unto him and so yesterday i was going to pick up a package um <laughs> and i forgot to apply sunscreen walls in the apartment so i had to rush back up and just grab the sunscreen so when i was in the cab that's when i removed my ring and i put it in my lap and i applied the sunscreen and then i jumped on a call with someone so i completely forgot that i had removed my ring and also i was going into the um, post office to pick up my package and so i lost my ring so i only realized it later in the evening when i was looking through my things and i was like oh my gosh my ring is gone i was so sad i was boohooing and crying my eyes out and it was an ugly cry because i was really hurt i was like god i was going to pass that ring on to my daughter if she wanted it yeah <laughs> and i tried contacting the driver but i could not so that's a dead end right so um because of the shirt that i'm wearing today i was just like you know what let me read first peter chapter two and i got to verse five let me read it in the nlt because that's what i was using before so um First Peter chapter 2 verse 5 says, And you are living stones that God is building into his spiritual temple. What's more, you are his holy priests. Through the mediation of Jesus Christ, you offer spiritual sacrifices that please God. This journey of purity for me has been about offering a sacrifice that pleases God, right? So every time I look down at my ring, it was a reminder that I made a vow to God and we shouldn't be making vows that we don't take seriously. So it was a reminder that I made a vow to God um, that I would wait on him to bring my husband and I wasn't going to be out here laying it low and spreading it wide for people, but I would be waiting for my husband, okay? And so... <sighs> When I lost the ring, it just made me sad because I felt like I had lost a part of me, right? But then the Lord was telling me that, look, you don't need a physical reminder anymore. That's why he was ministering to me. That's how he managed to comfort me. And I stopped boohooing like a baby. <laughs> it was bad, okay? <laughs> it was really bad. Um, he was like you don't need a, a, a physical reminder anymore because you are a living stone that i am building into my spiritual temple right you are my holy priest you yourself are a living stone so you don't need physical reminders of this journey that you are on it may have been so in the beginning when things were a little sketchy okay but now you absolutely don't need a physical reminder anymore and it was so pretty i just loved it um the ring that is but stuff happens right and so now going down to verse nine um again this is still the nlt it says but you are not like that for you are a chosen people you are royal priests a holy nation god's very own possession as a result you show others the goodness of god for he called you out of the darkness and into his wonderful light okay so being set apart for god is a choice 
right you choose to be set apart for him you choose to consecrate yourself unto him you choose to live for him as that holy priest as that royal priest and if you read through um leviticus in numbers where you see the the rules that the lord set for the priests how they were to dress how they were to purify themselves before certain ceremonies that they had to do they had to be ceremonially clean and pure and they had to make sure that they hadn't been in some funny situation compromising and whatnot and then come before the lord because they would be struck dead you know because god wasn't playing with them right now we thank god for grace but still the prince applies that if you are a priest you're a royal priest God's chosen people a holy nation live a holy life stop living like the world if you are smoking like the world drinking like the world clubbing like the world dressing half naked like the world or just completely naked <laughs> like the world how are you set apart if you're wearing your dress and all of your girls are hanging out, what are you doing? There is nothing holy about that, okay? But I'm not here to give you a dressing lesson today. That's not what I'm doing today. <laughs> it will definitely come some other time. But yeah, that's not what I'm focusing on today. So this is the second part of my message. The first part was that I don't need a physical reminder of this journey that I am on because I am a living stone and you are a living stone as well if you're living for God. So there may be certain things that you were doing, maybe almost like a ritual, um, but you don't have to do that anymore because you need to realize that you are the temple of the Holy Spirit, right? And now the second part is the one that stems from 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, right? And it talks about us being a holy nation, being set apart for God and, you know, um, living holy lives because you are God's very own possession. If you also just read through Exodus, Leviticus, Deuteronomy, Numbers, um, you will see that the Lord was super particular about how the Israelites were supposed to live because he specified over and over again that the land that he was taking them into was a land that had spewed up the people that were living in it before them because of their sinful lifestyles okay so there are certain places where the lord could be um preparing you for those places those positions those territories have spewed out the people that were there before you okay so you can't go in there and and just behave the same way that those people that were spewed out were behaving you have to be set apart and the lord kept specifying to the israelites that look if you behave the same way that these nations were behaving the land will spew you out it will spit you out so in the same way we know that the lord has been saying that he's removing the old guard and he's ushering in the people that he has been preparing people that have been set apart for him people that are really and truly living for him he is ushering those people into new positions now if you go into that new position and you're not being set apart and you're not living like a royal priest I'm pointing at this because that's the verse, right? <laughs> if you're not living like a royal priest, like a holy nation, trust that wherever it is that the Lord has taken you to, that place will spew you out just like it did the previous people, okay? We've seen this with ministers, pastors. People are having platforms taken away from them because they failed to live righteously. So don't make the same mistakes. I hope that this message is an eye-opener for somebody and that it blesses and encourages someone. So be blessed and encouraged in Yeshua's name. Bye.